of the examples you have brought in is uh, the election quilts. Tell us yes, about this. Yes, sure. So we have elections every four years that are supposed to give us the politicians who we want and who we ask for. But our voting system doesn't actually work very well. And voting reform often sounds like a very boring, dull thing that no one wants to talk about. So I thought, what if we made an, an election quilt? that explained how our voting system was broken. So let's do a quick experiment, okay? Let's say Liza and myself are running for mayor. Mm -hmm. And the big issue of the day is, do we want a mayor with long hair or short hair? 60%, mm -hmm. can you kind of pass that to you? Yeah. Hold up the 60%. 60% really want long hair. So I'm stuck with 40. So who's gonna win this race? Me. Yeah, awesome. why? More, More hair. hair. More, yeah, that's right. But what if, um, what if Deiru also wants to run? Oh. So now turn that over and rip it in half. It's Velcro. <laughs> Flip it over. Oh, okay. Daru's got 35. Liza's got 25. I just won. Most mm -hmm. people wanted a candidate with long hair. Mm -hmm. But because two ran, oh. I won the race. I have 40. Split I have more vote. than both of you. You split the vote. Oh, okay. So in a runoff, you would actually be eliminated and your votes would go back to you and you would win. Like but the, the NDP and the Liberals. Every party uses right. this. But yeah. the bigger problem isn't just that I won, the bigger problem is that, let's just go back for a second. Oh, yes. pass, pass that back to Liza. Here we go. So if me or you are in the race first and you decide, you know what? I'm excited about this city. I'm gonna run for mayor. I wanna have my voice heard. All the people who want a long haired mayor are gonna say, don't run. You're gonna mess this up. And that's what's really toxic about our political culture. The young voices, often women and often visible minorities, are pushed out of races mm -hmm. before they start because they're the less high-profile candidate right. and they're going to ruin it for you. Right. So what I'm proposing is a runoff system just like the parties use. Most American cities use it. Uh -huh. um, and I, well, we don't have time to show this one, but essentially the same thing can happen even with an 80 and a 20. If I'm a mayor and I only have 20% support and I run for re-election, if one person runs against me, they're gonna get 80, I'm in trouble. But if five people run against me, this splits up into a 19, 18, 17, 14, 12, and I win, even though 80% hated my guts. So what you're proposing is we... It's a runoff. What you do is you look at who, if no one gets a majority, then no one wins. You drop off the I person see. with the least and you, everyone gets to vote again. And then you vote again. Although if you have a ranked ballot where you choose your preferences in advance, which is what all the parties do now, it's called an instant runoff. You don't have to come back and vote I again. See. Your supporters put you second right. and me third. Your supporters put you second. So if you drop out, you win. You drop out, you win. When People already... get what they want, they vote with their heart, and no one's pushed out of the race. That would transform our democracy and bring more voices to the table and make elections more fair, diverse, relevant, and I think fun.